Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at our first historic deck featuring Theros Beyond Death and we've got a very spicy deck for you today. We're playing a Death Bellow Warcry combo deck. Death Bellow Warcry, an 8 mana sorcery that says search your library for up to 4 Minotaur creature cards with different names, put them on the battlefield and then shuffle your library. Now there's not that many powerful Minotaurs worth searching up with the Death Bellow Warcry. So instead we're playing Arcane Adaptation as well, a 3 mana enchantment that says as Arcane Adaptation enters the battlefield choose a creature type, we're gonna choose a Minotaur, and then creatures we control are the chosen type in addition to their other types, and the same is true for creature spells we control and creature cards we own that aren't on the battlefield, so creatures in our library will also turn into Minotaurs, which means we can now search up any creature with the Death Bell of War Cry, and then we can easily set up a one turn kill by searching up Perforos, giving other creatures we control haste, as well as a Dracoseth, which can decimate the opponent's board. We've got Terror of Mount Velus, which will give all our creatures double strike when it enters the battlefield, as well as Angras Marauders, which will double the damage of all the permanents we control. And then we also have a backup Burning Sun's Avatar in case we draw one of the aforementioned cards, and we can't search them up with the Death Bell War Cry anymore. So that's the premise of the deck. Now, of course, how do we get to 8 mana to cast Death Bell War Cry? We've got a few ways to get there. We've got Iron Crack Feet, which is a 4 mana sorcery that adds 7 red mana, and we can cast only one more spell this turn. So we need one additional mana besides the mana generated by the Iron Crack Feet, so we can potentially cast this on turn 5, or maybe even turn 4 if we have a Mind Stone in play to ramp us and that will allow us to run out the Death Bell of Warcry. Another way we have of ramping is with the Jaya, which is a very useful Planeswalker in this deck. It's a 5 mana, 5 loyalty Planeswalker, with two relevant plus abilities for the deck. The first one adds triple red to our mana pool that we can only spend to cast instant or sorcery spells, so perfect for casting a Death Bell of Warcry ahead of schedule. And then the second plus ability lets us discard up to three cards, and then draw that many cards, so that can also help us assemble the combo pieces. So that's our main game plan, now let's take a look at the rest of the deck. At 2 mana we also have the full playset of Omen of the Sea, as a nice cantrip with Flash. As it enters the battlefield we can scry 2 and then draw a card, so it can help us assemble the different combo pieces, and we can also sacrifice it for 3 mana to scry 2 once again. We've got Mind Stone to help us ramp, and later if we don't need the mana we can also sacrifice it to draw a card. We've got, of course, a full playset of Arcane Adaptation, as well as the full playset of Thirst for Meaning, which is a 3 mana instant speed draw 3, and then we have to discard 2 cards unless we discard an enchantment card, and of course we don't need more than 1 copy of Arcane Adaptation in most games, so we can easily get rid of additional copies of Arcane Adaptation and discard them to the Thirst for Meaning. Then at 4 mana, besides our Iron Crack feet, we also have the full playset of Storm's Wrath, since we do need a way to potentially stay alive against some more aggressive decks, and this will deal 4 damage to each creature and each Planeswalker, so a very nice sweeper for the deck. And then we've covered all the other cards, we've got Perforos, we've got 2 copies of Jaya, then 1 Burning Sun's Avatar as a backup, and Angras Marauders, Terror of Mount Velos, Dracoseth, and then 4 copies of Death Bell of Warcry, and then a mana base, we've got 4 temples to help us cry, don't mind playing this turn 1, and then 4 sulfur falls, 4 steam vents, 9 mountains, and 4 islands. So yeah, that's the deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play, this hand is missing adaptation. To have a double Warcry, can maybe discard one to the Thirsts, and the Mind Stone helps us ramp into the Warcry potentially as well. So it's probably a keep. And then hopefully we can find Adaptation soon. Could potentially have the turn 4 kill. If we... yeah, Adaptation. Now we just need Iron Crack Feet. Turn 2 Mind Stone, turn 3 Adaptation, turn 4 Iron Crack Feet with one spare mana. Sets up the turn for kill. And we have the triple red required. Looks like a green white enchanter deck. Alright, Iron Crack feed for the win. Otherwise, we'll have to go digging with Thirst. So let's uh, see here. I guess we'll tap this. Let's 
Storm's Wrath. Well, we're kind of giving it away here, but that's fine. So we have five mana, next turn six I can just hard cast Burning Sun's Avatar. Or I guess this uh, Wrath to kill it. So it's a hexproof deck. So I can go Omen plus Wrath. Seems good. Probably wanted to tap differently in case I found feet. Oh no. If we uh, tapped or played Island and tapped it, and I could have cast the feet right now. That's okay. We'll cast the Wrath first. And Dracoseth goes on the bottom. Although I guess never mind. So with feet, we only would have had seven mana, so one short of casting Warcry. So it's all good. Another ley line, sure. One, two, three, four. I guess we'll target Perforos. Alright, we're on the play, and yeah, I mean, all we're missing is a couple lands and the Warcry. Can discard one adaptation to the Thirst for Meaning. Islands are awkward with feet, so probably gotta bottom it, even though we do wanna hit our land drops. Don't have much interaction here, don't have our sweeper, so that's potentially a problem. but hopefully we can assemble the combo fast enough. Facing planes could be maybe a life gain type deck. Blue-white instead. Well, counter spells are not what we want to face. Since they can just counter the Warcry. We'll just pass and then thirst end of turn. Topple the statue. All right. Sure. We have drawn two of our uh, creatures already, so that's a little awkward. I guess for now we can go Mindstone, play Thirsts. I mean, I could also just go Feet into Marauders here, but it doesn't feel like uh, that's what we want to be doing. Could discard Perforos to the Thirsts, or I could just run out Perforos next turn, so we have it in play. Big to ferry. This isn't a fight you can win. No time for a break. I guess we'll thirst before they untap. So this does deal damage to Planeswalkers as well, but not enough to kill the fairy. So what's our plan? Could also potentially play Perforos and use the ability to kill the fairy by putting in the Marauders. So let's see if we feed seven. Yeah, that should be enough. Although that's pretty bad if they have like a seal away.
The Marauders will be sacrificed end of turn, so we don't get to keep it. But killing at the ferry is probably worth it. Alright, so to ferry down, I've got our Perforce in play. So if we find a Warcry, we can uh, still do some damage. Back up to ferry. I am not going to see this one. Them minusing on Perforos is actually not as bad as it might appear. If we find a Warcry off the top here, then Perforce would be in my deck. But, uh, not quite the case here. So I could sack Mindstone. If my next card is Warcry, we could play it. Or I can Thirst, but then I wouldn't be able to give my creatures haste since Perforos will uh, be in our hand. So I guess we'll sack Mindstone. Not quite, although Jaya is still pretty decent here. I guess now I'm probably just gonna Storm's Wrath to get rid of the ferry, though. And then next turn we can maybe play Jaya. But yeah, if we drew the Warcry with the Mind Stone, we could have had lethal. So it seemed worth a shot. All right, a third to ferry. <laughs> I'm known for my excellent timing. This one's probably gonna plus. Nope, gonna minus take it back. on our enchantments. So now what? Play Jaya. And then I could make mana to cast uh, Thirst here. Let's see how you manage this. And then... Don't really want to discard the enchantments. So I'll just ditch two lands. Or I can ditch the feet now that we have Jaya to make mana. It's also reasonable. I'll get rid of the lands. Next turn we can maybe Storm's Wrath again to clear the ferry, even if that means losing a bit of loyalty on Jaya. It's probably not too bad. Angelic Gift on Guildmage, sure. We'll start with Wrath, see if it resolves. Like a big hero, and then we can just loot with Jaya. At this point probably discard feats. Alright, there's a war cry. Although we did discard feats, so now we might not have the mana to uh, play both next turn. Double acuity. So I'm not going to have enough mana for Adaptation, Perforos and Warcry within the next two turns, I don't think. If I play Perforos now, then next turn, if I want to play Adaptation... Three, four, five... I guess if I draw land, we can get there. So sure, I'll play Perforos. I can loot away Jaya to maybe hit a land drop for next turn. We'll see if this resolves first. It does. 
So yeah, if next turn I draw land, I can go Adaptation and then 5 plus 3 is 8. So I'll ditch Ajaya. And otherwise we'll just wait an extra turn. Hopefully no more Teferis. Alright. Different Teferi this time. So I don't think we'll be able to uh, set up the one turn kill. Dawn of Hope, sure. Did draw the land, so we would have had it. I mean, I can still put a bunch of creatures in play here with a war cry, but they won't have haste, so if then my opponent has a sweeper. We're in a bit of trouble. So I think I would rather wait and try and set that up. So I can go Perforos plus uh, Thirst for Meaning. Or Perforos plus Adaptation. I guess I'll just uh, play the Adaptation. And the Minotaur. And then we'll just plus and not discard anything. All right, everything is in place. Jay goes to three. Whatever happened to respect for the elderly? Although they do have a bunch of mana up, so they could have a counter spell here. There's only one way to find out. I guess I can maybe bait it out with one of these first. Revitalize, sure. They could make some chum blockers with Dawn of Hope. But they're still taking a lot of damage here. They might have wanted to wait until after the Dracoseth triggers. Alright, we got there. So, not the fastest uh, win, but we managed to slog our way past a bunch of teferis to eventually get there. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand is missing quite a few combo pieces. We need the Warcry and we need the Adaptation. Do have two ways to potentially ramp with both Feet and Jaya. This could just be a turn 4 or even a turn 3, I guess, uh, Angras Marauders. Although that might not be good enough. This one's close. I mean, having a turn to Mindstone, having the Stample is pretty appealing. So I'll try it. And then the first couple draw steps are going to determine whether or not we're going to go with an early Marauders, or if we're going to hold the feet to maybe combo with our Warcry. And of course that's the nice uh, thing about Having all these expensive cards in red is that we can still just play them early with feet. Didn't think I want Perforos. And blue green. And silver gills, so up against Merfolk. So finding our sweeper is going to be pretty key. Alright, there's Adaptation. 
So now we just need a Warcry, and we're good. We know we are not going to draw into Perforos since he's at the bottom. Deep root waters, that's fine. Point on taking it slow. That's kind of where we want to be as the combo deck. So now probably just play Adaptation plus a tap Steam Vents. Next turn I could play Jaya to start digging. And if we do get lucky in top deck uh, Warcry we could win next turn. Seafloor Oracle, sure. Hit for two, draw a card. Jaya, five loyalty, can go up to six. So if they don't have Mistbinder, then uh, Jaya survives. But how about a nice Warcry? Is this a turn four kill? Looks like it. Wow. Four, three, submit. They can chum block the Burning Suns, but they're still taking uh, 24. And by my calculations, that means they're dead. Well, I was gonna make this entire speech about how this deck is pretty bad and you should just play it for fun and not expecting to win but I guess we've been winning most of these games, so maybe the deck is actually good. Alright, we're on the play, and we've got a pretty controlling hand here, a bit of card draw, Wrath into a Planeswalker. Missing basically all the combo pieces, but maybe we've got enough card draw to make up for it. Of course we're not a control deck, but just kind of managing the board and eventually playing a Dracoseth as a curve topper is still potentially a winning strategy. So we'll try it. Do want lands. So we'll bottom the omen. Remorse. I guess I want to cast omen. And guess bottom both. I mean, Mind Stone is kind of like a land, but it would be much better off actually drawing one, and this way we give ourselves two draw steps to find one. Alright, Adaptation. So, we'll see what they take away here. Takes one of our Planeswalkers, fair enough. So do we thirst or play adaptation? I guess we'll thirst. Not in a hurry to get the adaptation in play. Maybe we give our opponent less information about our game plan here. Storm's Wrath doesn't seem great. Opponent hasn't presented any creatures yet. And I kind of want to keep Perforos for the haste. Yeah, maybe it's still the play. And given that I have a second Thirst, if I do draw into another Adaptation, I can easily discard the second one. Alright, I guess that helps. So we'll see what's on top first. Mindstone. Don't really need Mindstone. And I guess now we'll play Adaptation over Thirst. Still close. It's definitely possible that we won't be able to pull off the combo if they have enough disruption and we're just gonna go on the beatdown plan. Pwn is still not doing anything. So they might have a murder rider here for Jaya as soon as we play her. But I guess we still get an activation. Or I can just uh, thirst and uh, wait or I guess play Perforos works. They can't murder rider that one and we do want Perforos in play by the time we pull off the combo. A 
opponent not doing anything. Alright, I mean, I guess we Jaya discarding basically our entire hands. Alright, there we go. So we've got to combo for next turn. I guess I'll keep land in hands. And there's a Murder Strider. Contempt instead, fair enough. Alright, hopefully they tap out for something random here. That works. Unless they kill the adaptation. Ah. So opponent doesn't want me to combo. It's too bad. So I guess we'll scry with Omen to try and find another adaptation here. If only they had plussed. Bottom both. Not many ways for a mono black deck to destroy enchantments, but Ugin is one of them. So I'm gonna have to discard to Eldest Reborn. So I probably want to keep land in hand. And then I could sack Mindstone or keep it in play. I guess I'll sack it in case we find adaptation of the top. Of course, if they keep up a bunch of instant speed removal, it's possible they can kill enough creatures where we can't combo them anymore. Yeah, I guess we'll just pass. So we've got two more turns, I guess one more draw step, or a Storm's Wrath can buy us some more time. Would also kill Ugin, although I guess now it doesn't anymore. Omen for the redraw. I guess we'll keep Thirsts. Alright, there's a Wrath. So I guess Steam Vents. And then I could just discard Feats at this point. Or I can keep the feet so I can sag the Omen to Scry. It's maybe better. And then do I discard the Dragon here? I guess I do. And then I can Storm's Wrath and next turn sack Omen plus maybe feats into Warcry. But they probably have more discard here to strip away one of my cards. Back up Ugin. Alright. Now they only have one removal spell up at most. Bunch of Legions and, and Christ discarded. Adaptation doesn't necessarily do it, I guess. As we'll be one mana short. 
but I guess I'll still uh, scry here. I guess two mana short even. Bottom that one. Alright, so let's say we draw Adaptation, play it, feed Warcry, so I don't need to play the land here. Might need it as discard fodder. They will make us shuffle. So that uh, decreases our chances of drawing another Adaptation. Don't have many cards left. So given how many swamps they've played, they're probably playing the uh, Anthology removal spell, the Tendrils of Agony, or Corruption I think it's called, which can also gain them a ton of life. Karn, sure. Statue, I guess it's gonna make it difficult to cast all our spells. Yeah, I don't think we have any outs now. Alright, GG's. Close one. The Ugin definitely uh, caught me off guard. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Uh, hand's not perfect, but we've got a lot of card draw here between Double Thirst and Omen, so hopefully that's enough. Alright. Well, all we need now is mana. So Iron Crack Feet is pretty high up on our list and just uh, lands in general. Turn to Paradise Druids. And Vine Mare, so another Hexproof deck. Temple's interesting. I don't think I keep it. Alright, there's a feat, so adaptation this turn. Or I guess I can this turn cast a thirst, which can maybe find me a wrath, which will maybe keep us alive a turn longer. Because yeah, I can't turn four feet since we need one extra mana for the Warcry. So I might as well uh, Thirst first. And maybe find a Wrath. Season, that's fine. Take seven. Another feet, sadly can go feet into feet since we can only cast one more spell. So yeah, guess we'll uh, play adaptation now and hope we're not dead. Another Vine Mare, that's fine. Alright, I think that should do it. Hopefully don't draw Perforos for the turn, that would be one way to lose. No Perforos, so it's showtime. I guess we target the druids. Bam. All right, sweet. 
Well, the deck is definitely a bit of a meme, but uh, it is capable of winning, and if you don't face too much disruption, of course, counter spells are uh, pretty much game over, and uh, too much hand disruption can also be a problem. But against kind of mid rangey creature decks, especially if you find a Storm's Wrath early to buy time, you should have a decent shot. So, yeah, definitely a fun deck to try out. Of course, uh, does require quite a few wild cards, but uh, if you've got them and you want to combo some people out with uh, quote unquote Minotaurs, then this might be the deck for you. So, that's going to be it for me today. Want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.